Hi everyone and welcome back to another Borg No Game video. Today's video is DK2, the KR updates for Counterside. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. The reasons why we're actually covering like the KR updates is mostly because the more that we know about KR, the more that we see it's actually being healthy, taken care of by the devs, the stronger that Counterside is going to be within Southeast Asia, possibly getting a global launch. The more it gets funded, the more that we know that Counterside is gonna have a bright future. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. First things being a new characters are going to be added Mika star and Amy first wing is going to be an awakened unit and what's interesting is Mika is supposed to be an SSR supporter I hope she's going to be like the buffing healing types because we have a plenty of debuffers and debuffers within like the supporter role they're not really as highly valued and then when it comes to Amy she's going to be in an awakened SSR sniper she doesn't look like a sniper from what I can tell she has like these flaming yo-yos which is pretty interesting overall she looks really crazy and I'm interested to see how an awakened SSR our sniper is actually going to be performing because snipers are just there they're sort of like glass cannony but if she's going to be up close and personal i don't think she's going to be like a glass cannon because you know we don't want our snipers to die too early now one of the cool things is they're actually going to have a 500 day event so that means that counterside has been launched for exactly 500 days and they're actually going to be giving out 150 free rolls for the next three weeks so that means there's going to be 15 multis available this sort of happens in princess connect and and I don't see very many games implementing this. This is very generous of Counterside KR to even be doing this. And then they're also going to give out an SSR unit selection. So that is going to be really amazing for any new players who want to start KR during the June 15th timeframe. Just like these like two things right here, absolutely amazing already. What a wonderful update for the month of June. They're even going to have a collaboration during the month of June. And what's really cool is that this is going to be held for four weeks in June 22nd. There's gonna be five total units. Infamous Jakey covered this briefly. And he said it's gonna be from Closer, another game. I'm not sure where that originates from, but apparently one of the devs who's working on Counterside worked on Closer. So that's their hints. And I'm not sure what the collaboration entails, but there's gonna be recruiting recruitments and also a character from the counter pass and they'll be introduced every two weeks so we'll see how that like flows in KR because I do lay in there and like see how things are going because I am curious you know the future of the game that's why we're covering this right and then there's going to be enhancements or skip features enabled for the simulation ops which is really cool so it's going to be using like information as we you know have earlier like the little like blue ticket sort of thing that's used for skill ups so that's going to be nice in case you want to run your skips on your simulations but honestly this is from a time efficiency perspective i know a lot of people don't really do that and they, they probably just run it because simulation is already pretty quick but if you're really strapped for time and they want to make it more efficient i think this is heading towards a good road because this could be a skip feature for all the different game modes so long as you meet the you know the certain requirements in order to actually run the skip and what's really cool is they're actually going to be changing up the stat but how they're displayed not like the actual like stat differences but they're going to be providing more of an explanation on how stats actually Actually work what do they actually do because within counterside some things are kind of convoluted for example if you actually jump into counterside here and then you like select one of your characters right and then you look at their overall stats you go into this like little magnifying glass you don't really know what's going on here you just know that they have like a bunch of numbers but soon they'll add like what does skill haste actually do what does anti-defender damage actually do damage resistance actually do these will be things to give you more life in the game giving you more details on how evasion or maybe how how crit damage actually affects stuff so the more information the better and i'm super happy they're actually reorganizing the stat system because that means we'll be able to understand things even better and then there's actually going to be a gauntlet reorganization which i think is really cool because gauntlet is sort of like the main feature in the game some ways because gauntlet is very competitive their meta is always shifting there's always something new and interesting now what's cool is they actually made it so that ranked wars will only be unlocked after a certain amount of wins or after a certain rank within strategic wars and then the league wars which is going to be a new feature that comes out in the future will only be achieved after reaching a certain score within ranked wars this is all because they want to make sure that you are able to actually participate in those game modes before you jump into a league and like sort of stress yourself out and stuff so this is like sort of like a tutorial phase you can play in like the strategic wars to unlock ranked wars to unlock league wars right and i think league wars is going to be very cool and one of the things that is really smart of them is they're actually going to be attaching the seasonal equipment into like another area so for anyone who hasn't played kr and you don't have like maze gear or gordian gear or the previous gear that was all really good they're gonna be providing 
a shop that actually lets you unlock this gear still within the game so if you're a newer player jumping into kr then it'd be you know giving you all the best gear within the game because maze gear all the different types of gear are the best and you can only get them per season and that's why a lot of people recommend clearing out like the seasonal shops but now that we have this we don't really have to worry about it as much because now we know that the gear is going to be forever sitting within the game i'm super excited that if this ever added to c or global because that means you don't have to really worry about trying to get the gear now you can try to get summons and then you can get gear later but this is really good news and then here's going to be like the league match which is going to be like a draft mode this is very similar to like epic 7 where you banned units like real time with another person so this will prevent you know someone spamming like now you've been or awaken units sail you all like the meta characters and it looks like this is going to be like a party of i think nine to ten there's like a little x right there overall they said this screenshot is in development and i like where this is going because that means that there's going to be an even cooler like pvp scene later down the road and they're actually doing an upgrade to like the gauntlet point integration so i think a lot of folks were probably worried like oh they're gonna add like these new modes that means i have to like do more things in order to expend like my gauntlet points and all my runs and everything they're making it in a way so that you can use your strategic wars ranked wars and league wars they're all going to be receiving the same accumulated gauntlet points in any mode that you play depending on the nature of the mode such as limited participation opportunities or time required for one play the number of challenges or time required may vary but you can earn gauntlet points fairly regardless of your play style and participating league so that means every single person will be weighted the same outside of like a higher level entry person within a certain rank will get more rewards but that'll make it so that everyone has a fair chance when earning gauntlet points versus you know being in higher ranks you get better stuff which is sort of already in the game in some ways but i just think this is really cool that everyone has the opportunity regardless of rank because this just makes the pvp scene a lot more enterable for any new players so regardless of rank regardless of where you sit holding that rank will only give you more rewards but the outcomes are all the same when it comes to the actual you know participating in pvp you will get the same points as everyone else which i think is really nice and i hope they give us like the feature where you can do rank battle as many times as you want because that has to be like one of the best things about counter side is you can keep tackling like rank battle and see what you can do and like sort of get better and i just like that sort of thing where we don't have to wait on runs and we can just keep doing it over and over again if you want to and then lastly an overview of the updates for kr where they're improving the farming structure for higher end gear they're doing unit balances which is really good they're adding new like pve content with dive stages scavenger platoon and evolved one and then they're also going to be adding more continuous updates of the challenging pve content and there's also going to be some new skins so i always love new skins the reason why i even like advocated for kr and like counterside in general is because the skins in these games is absolutely ridiculous like i know you guys have like seen the skins within this game like i love them i like how they change the animations for all the different characters or at least like the really premium ones like karen wong's absolutely amazing when it comes to like all these updates coming to kr i feel like it is so well done because a lot of the times games will not even provide a developer's notes like this and you're sort of like left wondering how's the future of the game knowing that the developers are going to be investing this much amount of time within the actual game it gives me a lot of hope for the future and what's to come let's go ahead and jump into some pvp and like just continue like this conversation right because one of the things that i love about like gotchas is that they're constantly being updated and counterside having this sort of bright future painted ahead of us where you know the devs are still communicating they're still launching updates they're doing like giveaways and all this stuff just shows how confident they are with like their actual product of what they're releasing within counterside because a lot of the times i see that gotcha communities they want to make sure that what's going to be invested within the gotcha is actually going to be like very valued because a lot of the times we don't know what's at stake we don't know what's going to be the future and just knowing that this game has a brighter future ahead of it it just makes things a lot better for the overall longevity of the game because i like knowing that whenever i'm playing a game it's going to have a healthy future ahead of it and that just to me is really great now for this match there's no way i'm going to win it they have way too much stuff going on here i didn't kill enough people i can try to drop titan here it's kind of crazy that buzzard never died pretty sure if i had like if i wasn't running titan meta right now or mech meta i would have been a little bit better because these units were actually not that strong but i think it's one of those things where mech meta isn't as effective this week as it was like last week so i'm doing configurations with my team 
teams right now. I'm trying to build like a Yumi Lee like soldier squad, but I think that'll turn out better in the next week. I hope you guys enjoyed like the actual KR updates and what's going to be coming. Hope you enjoyed like there is a bright future ahead of Counterside. Maybe like the brighter it is, the more that we talk about this game, somehow we can get a global release and even more people can enjoy this game, get all like these amazing like 150 roles and SSR selectors. I just think that's just so cool that they're going to add that collaborations and all. Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once we hit 22,000 fireman subs, we'll be doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one.